Tesla's Vice President of Autonomy, Asha Kalaswamy, announced what is possibly the most significant insight about Tesla's robo-taxi future. Ashok explained that FSC can actually understand that a driver needs to pay money at a toll booth and only after a transaction happens will the car drive off. We've got video to share about that. Third, RoboTaxi is about to be launched in California. The RoboTaxi app now includes terms of service saying such, plus it seems the service area is massive, maybe including three cities. New reports are also signaling FSC approval in China and London. So there was another news that Ashoka Swami dropped this weekend. I thought, okay, I don't know if I'm overreacting or not, you tell me. I think this is a very significant piece of information that Ashok just dropped. So uh, he basically is talking about the, the ability of FSD to understand the context and to know what's actually going on, in this case, a toll booth. So what happened was um, Chris Dirty Tesla and his wife were you know, testing FSD and they went up to a toll booth. And then the toll booth, right? It, the FSD appeared to wait for the, the car to complete the transaction. And then it pulled away without the gate after the person said, you know, thank you very much. And I'll play that video. Ashok Goswami replied and he said, it can see the transaction happening using the repeater and pillar cameras, the two cameras, it actually is watching the humans do this, you know, the exchange of money or the tickets. Hence, FSC proceeds on its own when the transaction's complete. This is mind blowing to me that, you know, finally explaining that that they can be trained to do this this isn't just you know safety of driving this is understanding what's actually going great thank you what the heck <laughs> what was that <laughs> how did it do that <laughs> that was a hundred percent i didn't touch anything <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, well, I'll take it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you think about this, Herbert, I'm so, this is so confused. <laughs> How I did just, it know? I don't know. That was incredible. It could see her give me my receipt with the. Uh, this camera over here. It had the, it listened for, have a good day. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> oh my god. Because she like went back in. Wait, yeah. was it a guy or a girl? I didn't it, was a girl. it was a girl. She went back in yeah. to the booth, you know, to get your change and everything. Yeah, so and I was like still... ready to hit the brake. As <laughs> soon as she said, have a good day, it's like she very slowly took off. That's crazy. And Ashok explained that that's exactly what the car did. This is the difference between <laughs> LiDAR extra sensors and intelligence. And they train this, right? It says. <laughs> yeah, this is what's needed for a real Tesla's focused on removing the human from the driving experience and fully automating the experience. And you can't fully automate the experience if you can't go to places like this. And this is what I think is is overlooked by many who are analysts in this space is they're just counting rides or they're counting a number of but you have to look at the available market which can be served uh, by these robo taxis and tesla is developing something that's fully context aware and i mean this is indistinguishable from from agi i don't know, I don't know another way to to you know to 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 state it and there's there's been other reports too of you know, the other thing, you know, think of the other things that the vehicles are going to have to deal with. Obviously, you're going to have to deal with these moving stop signs with school buses and so forth, be able to respond to all of these different things. They're going to have to deal with uh, police directing traffic or, uh, you know, local personnel, local security directing traffic in areas. You have to look at hand signals and a number of different things. So these things all have to work in order for this to, to, to truly remove the human from the system. So I wouldn't be surprised as these things continue to get layered in, especially as, you know, Tesla's AI factory expands, they get more compute, they get more capability online, and they solve for more of these cases. Yeah, I'm just so happy Ashok actually confirmed that this is the case because we've already been suspecting that the car is being trained to recognize, like you said, high-end signals or, right, if it's a cop saying stop, 
you know, and you know how people, you know, little, little gestures or the pedestrian, and then they, they're about to cross the street, but they go, no, no, go ahead, you go, you know? <laughs> yeah. Car sees it, goes, oh, okay, right. I know what you're talking about, so I'm going to go. You know? Right, right. It's it's really exciting. It, yeah, it's really, it's really showing how the system is advancing again. There's, it's, there's still things that they have to work through. There's still cases they have to solve for. That's why it's still supervised, you know, on today's date, it's still supervised. There's still things that they, they know they have to work through, but you can see that they're making progress. Yeah. Make progress. Okay. So one thing that happened this weekend was there was a, uh, uh, news or information that was shared that said that Tesla might actually launch RoboTaxi in California. I have the RoboTaxi app on my phone. And when you opened it up this weekend, there was a new terms of service that popped up. And the terms of service said this, it said, uh, I don't know if you can take a look at the bottom right here. It says, um, if your ride is taking place in California, it is being conducted with a safety driver using FSD. So this popped up into uh, the terms of service of RoboTaxi, basically confirming that Tesla is going to launch uh, Robotax in California, although it is a safety driver. There is a person, and then Asha Kohler mentioned that the California rules, I think it's 50,000 miles, that a vendor who wants to, all vendors who want to release autonomy must go through this uh, process where you have a driver in a car first, and they're going to do that. Um, and then this popped up, this little image here. We don't know if this is real. This part here could be fake, but uh, it was posted and then removed. It basically kind of shows you the potential geofence that Tesla's going to do. And it, it's big. It's San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose. Now, I think, yeah, this could be true because if it's a safety driver, they're already doing this. And, and that is not as big of a deal to, to launch it like that. So maybe that is what they're going to do. Um, make it as, and that's the fastest way to get your 50,000 you know, miles. Exactly. And I mean, that's Silicon Valley. I mean, that's, that's the Bay Area. That's, that's massive. Uh, and in the terms blue of, there, that is, uh, the blue is what Waymo does today. Yeah. So it's just, they come in. I think we, we, we uh, trust me, there's an, a plenty of good news about this posted on X. There's no question about it. I think what some though that are, are missing is saying, oh, it has a safety driver. I think they're missing the rate of expansion. The, you have to pick a couple of metrics that are really important that really tie to, you know, the business, this business, the, the, the service area, the available service area, the rate of expansion of the service area and the rate of expansion of the number of vehicles. These are a couple of things to keep an eye on and, and look at. And this is exceeding any precedent uh, for anybody rolling out uh, this type of service. But again, you, I think people are just, I think almost people are like flooding the zone with just confusion of, oh, it has this or, oh, it has that, or, oh, it just has this many miles in, in Austin. This is how you launch safety critical systems. You do it safely. You, you do not take excessive risk given the headline risk and you don't want to hurt anybody. And you, but what you're doing is, is you're gathering significant amounts of data. You're making sure everything is connected from a system level, system perspective. You're taking payment from people. You, you want to make sure everything, the experience, everything is, is well connected. You're in a brand new uh, geography. And, uh, and of course you're still working through, I'm sure you're still working through use cases. Again, if it was, if it was done, FSD would be unsupervised at this point. So it's clearly not done. There's clearly more work to do and it will always evolve. It will always iterate. It will always improve. But I think there's, you know, a big milestone coming is when FSD goes to unsupervised. And the only question will be, is it, will it, will it be in the same areas that were, that have robo taxi service today, or will it be more ubiquitous or will they both just kind of naturally converge together? Cause the, cause the service areas are going to be so large. So I think it's a big announcement with California. I think it's about the rate of expansion of different cities and geographies. It's the, it's the service area. It's the number of vehicles. And it's the rate. Watch the slope of the line. I think that's the key thing. Uh, so enemies of Tesla will come out and say, right, <laughs> Tesla's not able to do this ever. They're not built to RoboTaxi. So then they launch RoboTaxi. Oh, but it has a safety monitor. Oh, it has a safety driver. But that's because that is the rules of California. It happens to have required that. And then the other thing that they start attacking Tesla this weekend, there's a lot of confusion. 
uh, people were saying this, right? Uh, that apparently, according to some people, that the uh, California government is banning Tesla from being able to launch RoboTaxi. And they, you know, Ed Ludlow from Bloomberg says, uh, posted this quote, says to summarize, Tesla is not allowed to test or transport the public, paid or unpaid in an autonomous vehicle with or without a driver. Tesla is allowed to transport the public in a non-autonomous vehicle, which of course would have driver. So people read that and go, oh, that means that Tesla is banned from California. That is not the case. You can see down below here, somebody else said, California regulator bans Tesla from testing. That is not what's happening. Sawyer did a good job explaining this. The way some are presenting this news is confusing. So let me explain. Tesla can still launch a paid ride hailing service this weekend with a Model Y using FSD in San Fran to select members of the public as long as there's a person in the driver's seat. This is nothing has changed. This rules that you're reading and they're quoting is always been there. And in fact, applies not only to Tesla, but many other car companies. Here's an explanation by Grok. I'm, I'll leave it here if you want to read it. You can pause it. These are the explanations here. But basically... Tesla is currently allowed to test with a safe driver anywhere in the state of California, just as all of these other autonomous vehicles. There's nothing been changed. So if you hear that, oh no, Tesla stock's going to fall because they cannot launch RoboTaxi in California, that is just absolutely not true. You have a comment on that? No, I think it just it, it amazes me at how much purposeful bad information uh, floods the zone on these things, how much bandwidth people have to like, to look up, you know, rules on this stuff versus just, you know, anyway, it, it's, it's, it's fine. I think there's research that happens on, on both sides. It's a heavily traded, uh, it's a heavily traded name, but you know, just, I mean, rest assured, I think Tesla understands what they're doing. And if you've looked at their approach to roll out they're they're collaborating with regulators they're not doing anything in the face of regulators they're not trying to put this there there's no animosity in their relationship with regulators they're working with them they're, they're sharing data they're they're bringing them in the vehicles they're going through the system architecture they're going through the design they're showing them the redundancy they're showing them all these things so just all these roadblocks and things that people want to put out there saying this would never work uh, just rest assured that Tesla wouldn't have yeah. invested this amount of time, money, effort. And uh, you know, they, they have a system design that's actually going to scale. When you look at that list, Herbert, you showed of all the different, these are all prototype houses, basically, uh, you know, moving a couple of vehicles out and trying them out. And then there were analysts that said that those people are ahead because they got some sort of piece of paper in their hand. Well, not really understanding the economics of the system and the ability for the system to scale from a yeah. volume perspective. All right, well, I, was still, I still want to show some videos uh, later so uh, of Lars and uh, uh, Elmer, uh, Elon. So I want to get here. Uh, Tesla is actually hiring people, vehicle operators, autopilots in Palo Alto, in Austin, in Tempe, Arizona. That shows you that they're really moving forward. There's also some indication that Shanghai is going to approve autonomy. And it looks like that the demonstration operation licenses this year it will mean the relevant service providers can conduct unmanned paid operations, certain sections of roads in Shanghai. So at that point, the commercial operation of RoboTax unit will enter a new phase. Let me and tell you about a relationship in China. <clears throat> hmm. The I think Ray for Tesla posted, it was like 36 different uh, tests were run on different vehicles for autonomy and Tesla was near the top with just their production release. The worse that the China vehicles perform relative to Tesla, the faster that Tesla will go through the regulatory cycles. And it's not because Tesla is just performing better, but the Chinese want to learn from something and they want, they want an example out there and they want it running. So just remember that relationship, the, the bigger, the, the differential in performance, the faster that they're going to regulatory is going to put Tesla through the cycle and approve it because they want to learn. Uh, the other thing is London. So we've got uh, first video, Tesla dropped this, that there's actually a video now. And this is uh, first right-hand drive testing on the streets of London. Yeah, I'm not going to play it the whole thing anymore because we've got to get right to the thing. But yeah, so another signal that Tesla is moving really quickly to other countries. And Elon, uh, Ashok Goswami said, it just works. It just works because this is, again, throwing it there. And in this case, it's a right-hand drive.